How's it? <laughs> How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the uh channel. Eh, okay. And now this goes somewhere over here, I think. Eh. I want that. Because it does TikTok too loud. Speaking of TikTok, is it still, um, has it been, um, <laughs> banned? <laughs> Ghost box on. Okay, check, check, Roger, Roger, check, check. Okay, it's the day after uh, 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 procedure. They don't call them op, they called them operations and then it was like too serious, so now everything's a procedure. <laughs> so, proceed. Engage. So, yeah, um, I survived colonoscopy. I don't know about my viewership. I might be the only one viewing this. Hello, me again. I'm editing. Um, yeah, just carry on. <laughs> Cali ho. Uh, a little vlogging news, and this is the vlog part. I mean, that, I mean, I, I had a really bad memory from drinking all that preparation. I'll do a little short prepper. I'll do a little short on the preparation. All out of stand on, but you know. Mm. This is just the beginning. It's like dull jello. That's it. Um, it's this is the day after they told me rest at home. Don't drive. Don't make important decisory decisory decisories. Yes, stay away from decisories. Uh, legal decisions or operate machinery. That's what it is. Okay, like like the, like the, the uh, studio mode of OBS Studios. Don't operate that. Uh, going home from like uh, an adult should stay with you. Okay. Mommy. <laughs> um, yeah, stay away from blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's just because of anesthesia. And sometimes with those things, they, they look for polyps. And if they find polyps, they snip them out, right? And then they do biopsy. So it's not complete. I got like aces. I'm like aces so far. But the lab results aren't back yet. So I can't go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure everything's like just fine, effing fine. But that, you know, and then my memory from that before, I was like, oh no, not again. And then you get there and Queens is really good. So Queens, they're, they're good. So I'm like, you know, in and out and just, just be happy and follow directions. And it was like, like, it was nothing. Do you know? Do you know? No, I don't know. Do you know? Sure. I'm, and that's, I think the toughest part is like not eating before, but Jello, hard candy that isn't red and purple, and you, that clear liquid diet thing isn't that bad too, because you get a little. Okay, blah blah. <sighs> the wind and rain are back. The wind and the rain. The wind and the rain. And this political stuff is back. I gotta go. So the Supreme Court's meeting today to decide whether the Supreme Trump fire. T. Rump Rex has uh, immunity from blanket immunity from uh, a criminal prosecution while in the pre uh, procedure of his <laughs> presidency. So if he's making pres as president, if he's doing anything, no criminal cases can be brought against him at all. So that's why the question. Can you use SEAL Team 6 to off your political opponents? Well, I guess you can if you're the president. <laughs> I mean, and anything. So it's like Ghost of Watergate. <laughs> but uh, no one's above the law, not even the president. He's just an elected official. You might consider him first citizen. Uh, and But the, the fact that the judges of the Supreme Court are going... Well, let me consider this. Hmm. It's time to consider. You know, 
and they say they seem skeptical. They seem skeptical. Well, the Supreme Court judge, and there's nothing skeptical. Thinking about it, just a minute, wait, patience. I'm thinking. But here's the thing about Supreme Court right now. It's nine, nine judges, and it's basically sort of a six to three in bias of favor of Trump since he put them on there. It's like a six to three conservative bias. That's mine. So Prison. it's six three MAGA, <laughs> the Supreme Court. No one. It's big delay tactics. If they delay. I'm thinking about delay. Mm, everything goes up to there and then delay. And then he's elected maybe this November 24th, this year. And then he's going to pardon himself. I am president. I pardon myself of all crimes and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's insane. I, 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 I mean, I can't believe it's gotten to this point, but it's nuts. Um, I, 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 I'm really against him being a uh, president. <laughs> Just gonna say, it's, it's he's, he said he's gonna be dictator day one, which means the whole time. Because once you're dictator day one, it's like, ah, I'm dictator, and day one, I'm like, I make myself president for life. That's the game. And oh my god, what the heck was it? I have my little notes. Wrong notes. These notes. Nope, wrong notes. There's notes somewhere. I made notes. I made notes on this. But anyway, I, my notes have failed me. I did some notes. Uh, he's going to make... I, 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 it's, I, it's, it's nuts. He's going to like, you know, it's like outlawing free election. <laughs> it's kind of what's going on. So, so um, um, uh, uh, yeah, that's exactly what the dictator... He's going to instill this agenda. It's just it's like a Schedule F. Oh, that's what it is. Schedule F. He's going to make all federal jobs, all federal jobs, restructured because he's getting rid of corruption and deep state shadow government. No, the deep state, that corruption in the deep state, he's going to get rid of it in Washington, D.C. And he's going to make all federal jobs um, different under Schedule F or something where they have to basically um, um, uh, have an oath of loyalty to Trump. So if you're not completely loyal to Trump, you can't oppose what he says. You can't have a federal job. So all federal jobs will consist of a loyalty to Trump. Move over. Or you're fired. He's basically implementing The Apprentice in federal jobs. So all the federal jobs is uh, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Now bring in the people who pledge loyalty to me and me only. Hitler did that. It wasn't, I pledge allegiance to the greater Germany. It was, they pledged allegiance to Adolf. This is exact, he's playbooking tyrants to the T. I mean, dictator tyrants. It's, okay. Schedule F, watch out. <laughs> if you have a federal. So that's it, blah, 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 I guess. Um, and then, you know, Hawaii's got news too. Beside all this cuckoo, blanket immunity. What is he, Frodo, or what is it, um, is it Frodo, is it Harry Potter? Cursed. Cursed. Harry Potter with the invisible, invisible cloak of invisibility. <laughs> yeah, um, I tried to do a special effect there. <laughs> Anyways, Hawaii's got news too. I, 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 I think so, I swear. Let's, let's try Hawaii news. See? They got stuff too. <laughs> this guy is, um, I don't know. Um, he's something. It's not as well. Anyways, the vacation rental bills. This bill that go, about vacation rentals allows, like, um, you know, people to, you know, just the different counties, which are the islands, to outlaw rentals, short-term rentals, or uh, control them. So that everyone's like upset about that. And of course, on campus. Um, everyone's like pro-Palestinian. Oh, those nasty, nasty Jewish people that uh, are are killing babies and civilians. And pro-free Gaza. They're like free Gaza, free Palestinian. Now, um, 
there's a big one. I think this is the USC one. Because look, see, I think this is um, this is Delhini Delhini Library, which has uh, satanic books in the basement. <laughs> this here is um, where I took ethics class. Yes, I learned about Immanuel Kant. Kant, he could. Kant could, and he did. He defined good. Kant did. He could. He did. <laughs> he I took ethics, philosophy there. Um, this is a Doheny library. And then they're all in this campus thing, and they're like, they want to get arrested because they want to be uh, pro-Palestinian protesting. And it's getting kind of vicious. But it's vicious in the sense of they have to be anti-Jewish in order to do this. So it's a non. It's a, a what? Why? Why? You know, hey, let the Israel deal with its own. I mean, they got attacked, not us. They're so... Anyways, okay, now, it's Leave only, here. it's Thursday, it's Thursday, it's, DJ has arrived, oh crap, <laughs> the government's giving me, <laughs> that's it, it's the end, it's the bells of St. Mary, okay, we got 62 billion, wait, right, wait, 26 billion dollars going to Israel, 62 billion dollars going to uh, uh, Ukraine, and some of that is billions of dollars going to Taiwan, yeah, we've entered World War III. D-Day has arrived, but they're talking about the draft. Anyways, come on. Mm. Oh, Reggie Bush. Isn't this Heisman Trophy? This is like, um, US, speaking of USC, there was always the running backs, and there's running back for SC. Oh, this is the OJ thing at SC. You got the Heisman, and then uh, you know what happened to OJ? Blanket immunity. <laughs> you know, just, just, I, I don't, I, I, uh, it's also crazy. Just relax, whatever, what? Remember back in the day in 1991, when you wanted to relax, just go out there to Mauna Kea up on the top of, you know, Big Island, Big Mountain up there and uh, relax with the, uh, watch the eclipse. <laughs> the sun, go, watch it go dark. The sun in partial eclipse seen from Mauna Kea, despite this disappoint, disappointment some viewers due to cloud cover. It happens every time, clouds. Midsummer uh, helped attract a record. 132,000 tours to Hawaii. Oh, they, they rank it in tourism. The eclipse, good for tourism. <laughs> That's it. Partial eclipse was. Oh, yeah, I remember. I was saying, yeah, whatever. <laughs> maybe just maybe a finger on the pulse here. Make this thing already. Oh, look, political cartoon. It's great. Oh, look, this infighting and this is a civil. As he already said, civil war inside the capital. The, the two political parties, Civil War. Civil War 2024. Finally, they make that analogy. But, ah, uh, looks like the Democrats are just the, the North. <laughs> They're sitting back, watch, eating popcorn, watching the other guys fight. They're fighting themselves. This is a tactic of Otto von Bismarck, otherwise known as the Iron Fist. <laughs> make the two little countries fight them out, fight them out first, and then t take over the two little countries. So they're like, oh, okay, yeah, mm, just hey, watch them fight. GOP house, okay. Um, how about something um, here? I remember. Israel clearly guilty of ethnic cleansing. Oh God, still. Oh, here, this one. We got to do the marijuana one because it didn't. It didn't pass. It's <laughs> big trouble on the Big Island. Oh gosh, I'm missing out. Why did I choose this one? I know, because it's big letters. Don't be a nanny state. Make adult use pot legal. I will agree to disagree. <laughs> With state prosecutor Steve Arm in his viewpoints concerning marijuana nationwide, the cannabis black market is probably well worth over one hundred billion dollars. I do not think. The Mexican cartel employees are paying taxes on their bribes, kickbacks, and illicit income. <laughs> employees? We should not be a nanny state that enacts prohibitions because people might unfortunately die. Huh? <laughs> the teachers and first responders need raises, which a legal marijuana business would contribute to. <laughs> The entire mess is similar to the prohibition of liquor back in the 1920s. Phil Robertson, Kailua. Well, um, Phil, that's that's wonderful. <laughs> that's great. Let's go. Oh shoot. Um, yeah. yeah thanks, Phil. Uh, yeah, it is, it's it's much like a prohibition of alcohol. It's out there, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about being the employee of the Mexican court, <laughs> but the money. 
does go to the drug dealers who then get bigger with the boom boom, boom and the gun 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 and then they're um the the the, the drug dealer and the cartels and the illegal that's stronger because it's the money's pouring in there matter of fact that's how they uh yeah, support themselves <laughs> it's called drug money <laughs> okay um yeah so when you make that legal then it's regulated under government and it takes that away from that in a sense because who the heck wants to deal with illegal you know cartels if you could just buy a dispensary so and then there's a lot of people that do need it medically and um shoots yeah let people decide they're adults you know they can decide it's the only thing I, the only drawback i can think of is you know you know people get too stoned and it's just it's like alcohol they can Jack it. do too much and um uh, the driving but that's with beer and alcohol too. it's the same old guy anyways it's thursday it's have a good day day <laughs> it's the last the, the kind it's 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 uh oh wait Oh wait, what do we do now? Oh, here we go. Okay, aloha. Aloha. Wait. Aloha, there it is. Oh gosh. Aloha to you. See, it's all windy and cloudy. Oh, it's cloudy on the wall eclipse. But have a good day. Oh.